Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here I'm going to be bringing you a chart time guide. A lot of people have been asking me what numbers are you picking Zach, but I'm also going to just upload a guide alongside with it anyways just simply because they're doing it again and I'll drop my numbers or what I'm using to actually get the winning numbers, hopefully, hopefully, because it is a lottery at the end of the day, so my numbers do not guarantee a win. But with that being said, regardless, if people want to know what numbers I'm going to be picking or how I'm going to be going about it. So I'm bringing you guys the video where I'll actually show you my numbers, but it's also going to be uh, a guide if you don't know how to participate in the chance time. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video, man, if you haven't already. Make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We recently hit 50,000 subscribers. If you're new here, you know what to do here. Make sure to press the subscribe button. We're on the grind for now. 75,000 subscribers. We're 50% of the way to the 100k, the big 100k, so help me get to that grind, man. Get to that, get to that number, man. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the intro like that. I'm talking too much. Let's actually get into this video now. All right, so the first thing you wanna know is how to actually get the tickets. The only way to get the tickets is through actually playing the game and doing these missions. So you can see they're very easy missions, complete daily ch uh, challenge, daily missions, X amount of times, get free item from the shop, energies energies using energies completing seven of these missions to get extra missions outside there and then there's also just more of those daily missions so you can see daily missions up to seven times energy 200 at max and then get a free item from the shop and on top of that when you complete these missions in this section here you will also be attributing to the missions that say complete mission so it's like mission complete inception so yeah that's how you get the tickets and that's the first thing you're going to want to know because it's very important to actually participating in the chance time as it will increase your odds okay number two is how to participate in the chance time so what you want to do is go to menu go to exchange shop and then what you're going to actually want to do is find the exchange exchange shop where it says chance time so i believe it's on this page here you can see it's nice yellow and pink over here chance time legends fifth anniversary so you open it up and then you're going to see the prizes that are available on the left and this is the second chance time that I'm actually talking about in this video. There's already been a chance time previous to this and they're doing another one. So it's the second round of a chance time. There's probably going to be a third one maybe, but I'm not saying that for certain only because I don't know. So on the left, you have the prizes, but ignore that. You want to go to the chance balls. Now with the tickets, you have all these selections, one to a hundred, and you can literally pick a number of your choice. Whatever number you pick, it's a lottery, so you only have one chance for every number, whereas prior you could pick one number five times if you wanted to, but this time you only have one chance per number, and all you need to do is pick the cut, the numbers of your choice. It's nothing else than that, but late, after this part I'm going to pick my numbers and show you what I'm picking, but I want to emphasize that just because I pick something doesn't mean that it's going to be right. But yeah, it's up to you. If you want to do it by a random number generator, that's up to you. If you want to do it through... Uh, asking somebody superstitions whatever superstition you have whatever method you have that's on you so whatever you decide to do do not put it on me i'm even gonna further emphasize in this video whatever number you pick even if you decide to copy me if we all go down and lose because you copied me that's still on you this is a very big rule that's spread in gambling but this is not gambling this is a free to play game if you choose to spend money that's on you but that still doesn't make it gambling because the game's generally free and you're not guaranteed anything so yeah, just putting that out there, it's up to you, whatever numbers you pick. Don't be coming in my section like, Zach, I picked your numbers. Just saying though, just saying, on the first chance time, I picked number two and I've got the grand prize. I'm not saying I'm going to get the grand prize again, but I picked a certain number and I ended up actually uh, getting the grand prize. It was just, I guess it's just luck. People are going to say YouTuber, YouTuber, it's just luck. Cool, back to the video now. So you want to know what numbers I'm going to be picking and last time I picked numbers based on my favorite number. So my favorite number is number one because number one is equivalent to first. So if I want to get the highest grade, I would be one. So I went for one and then the second highest number you can get or the second highest position you can get is always two. So I went for two. And then what I did was I went one and two for every 10 that's available. So the first well, the, the first 10 is zero. So you go one and two, then you go uh, 11 and 12 then I went 21, 22, but then I couldn't go all the way because there's not enough tickets for that. So what I did was I went 91, 92, 91, 92, and 92 is actually a winning number, which is nice. I also went 82, 83, and then I went, I think I skipped the 70s and I went to 61, 62. But I don't think I'm gonna do that same methodology. I think I'm gonna pick a different number, but I'm still picking one. So I'm gonna pick one because it's my favorite number. I don't have the tickets on me right now. I'm gonna claim them later. I just have a, have a, have a habit of, change, of claiming things late. I'm gonna pick one 
for sure. That's my go-to number. And I'm going to pick 13 because it's a blue lock reference from the manga. Uh, for um, It's not even a manga reference, really. Barrow just wears the number 13. So that's why I'm going to pick 13 specifically. Then from there, I'm going to apply my same method. method. But I'm trying to decide which numbers I want to go. So do I want to go 99, 98? Do I want to go 96, 95? Just to point out that probability is a game of probability. So every number has a 1 in 100 chance of landing. You don't have more odds if you do it a certain way. It's just off my own superstition that I'm explaining this. I'm probably going to go 99 and 95. I'm feeling the fives this time. So I'm going to go 99, 95. Uh, I'm gonna go 89, 85, then I'm gonna go 44, no 45, 49, I'm also gonna go I believe 11 and 19, and I'm also gonna run, not 11, I meant 15 and 19, I need to remember it's 9s and 5s, so I'm gonna do as many 9s and 5s as I can. Because I, I won't have enough tickets to go all the way from the zeros, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way through to 100. There's not enough tickets, so I'm just going to pick as much as I can. But I'm just waffling at this point. It's just my strategy overall, but superstition at the end of the day, it's a lottery. There's no methodology to a lottery. Okay, so I just felt like I should go deeper into uh, what the actual prizes are and the two types of tickets. So I showed you earlier there's two types of tickets. One of them is literally just for um, buying the chance time balls and the other one's going to help you in the exchange shop when it's actually time to exchange something. So you see here, you can even exchange chance time assist tickets for chance time prizes and then there's the regular one to get chance balls. That's something I should have elaborated on. And then here, there's prizes. So you can see you've got the 1000 LL, the 600 LL, the 100 LL. You can get a 500 Chrono Crystals off the first step, so there's probably more because it says step on the top, top right. There's the Equipment Awakening Pack, which gives you 30 times Fragment Medals, 100 Equipment Medals, and 10,000 Rush Medals. There's the Assorted Souls Pack, which gives you uh, Rising Souls, each element 3,000, and Super Soul, each element 100, which is a waste in my opinion. Uh, that's easily the worst pack. Uh, 30 times Slot Removers here, and then you can get 300 energies over here so the prices are pretty good to be honest but of course you're going to be shooting for the 100 L 1000 ll or you'd probably be shooting for the 100 chrono crystals but i'm not going to lie the equipment awakening pack could come in handy as well outside of that everything else is pretty much just a waste for me because they're easily accessible through everything else like raid um chrono crystals are not easily accessible in comparison the souls are trash slot removers are everywhere energy you might be low on but come on man you got to think about the bigger picture here in my opinion but yeah man that's going to be the end of the video if i put the numbers on the screen right here it means i wasn't lazy during editing if the numbers are not on the screen that means i was lazy during editing so was you lucky was i lazy you watching the video right now you'd know but i don't even know but yeah i feel like it'll be a more specific thing because i haven't bought my the, the balls here off the tickets so if i do that before i actually buy um the balls or when i'm buying the balls i write down the numbers i'll put them on the screen right now if you want to copy my exact numbers but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully it was useful if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button man we're on this grind to 75,000 subscribers man that's the next goal i appreciate you guys for watching the video man it means a lot showing all your love and support on the channel my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man